Hello and welcome to my guide on how to get early Master Sword, also known as EMS. EMS is a trick where we use Minda's charge attack on this shadow beast here to do what's known as a super jump. A well-timed super jump will place us out of bounds, allowing us to enter the sacred grove earlier than usual. At start, this trick can be rather difficult as a lot happens rather quickly. I would argue one of the most important parts of learning this trick is developing a feel or flow for how you go about doing it each time as there is no 100% consistent setup. Once you enter the loading zone, you're gonna wanna run to the left and skip this cutscene. Next, we will run up against this wall here and align ourselves just to the left of this root. The goal here is to get the attention of the shadow beast so that we can reposition him. Once he gets to you, the shadow beast will stop to attack, allowing you to run to the next spot. I usually try to use the big root shown here to align myself with the smaller root down below. Once the Shadow Beast gets to you, you're going to want to hold L to lock onto him and hold B to start Minda's charge attack. After it's charged, you're going to want to walk into the Shadow Beast to try and be as close to him as possible. Then we will watch for the Shadow Beast to attack us and time the attack so that his hand is above him. I'm going to play it one more time in slow motion so that you can get a better look. If successful, you will find yourself up on this ledge, and you're going to want to work your way around this tree here and through the leaves. The goal is to work your way over to a specific spot on the wall to align yourself to jump down to the entrance of the grove. If you miss, you will void out and need to do the trick again. I like to use this corner here as a visual cue to jump down. It's important to make sure you have dashing speed when you do make the jump done properly. It should take about three dashes to get you to the point where you want to jump down. Once you get more comfortable with the trick, there is a faster method of setting up the initial position where you attack the Shadow Beast to cancel his attack. The one downside is this leaves you with far less time to set up your position. If you fail the trick and kill the Shadow Beast, don't panic as you can simply go quick spin the other two Shadow Beasts to quickly bring it back to life. From here, you can do the trick again like you've just entered the room. The Shadow Beasts have a few different types of attacks they can use. The trick works on all of them, however it's generally best to only attempt the trick in situations where you have the slower variants of his attacks. If you do happen to get a fast variant of his attacks and you can react to that, it's best to just let him hit you and wait for the next attack. Here is an example of a slow swing from the side. And here is an example of what a slow upswing attack would look like. This is generally considered the most optimal attack to look out for, as it gives you the longest amount of time to get the jump off. And lastly, here's an example of what a quicker attack would look like. Now I'm going to show a few examples of me failing the trick. In this first example, I let go of B too early. Here I walk too far inward against the Shadow Beast and end up hitting the side of the wall. Here I'm not close enough to the Shadow Beast so I don't get the super jump. Here my initial position is too far forward causing me to go at a bad angle and bonking on the wall. Thank you so much for watching my video and I really hope it helps.